It's August in the Nashua River watershed, the dog days of summer, when temperatures rise early and the heat is oppressive. Like us, animals hurry to get their chores done in the early morning. Young need to be fed, the larder must be replenished, and personal care accomplished. As the sun climbs and the temperature peaks, animal activity slows down and the only movement seems to be from the play of shadow and light on the surface of the water. Non-aquatic birds, like American robins, cope with the heat by bathing. This allows them to dissipate body heat into the cooler water. On the hottest days, even accomplished swimmers like these double-crested cormorants deploy an inbuilt cooling strategy. Known as gular fluttering, many species of birds open their mouths and flutter their throat muscles while breathing out. Blood vessels near the surface of the skin allow heat to escape and be expelled with each puff of breath. This practice can be accompanied by feather fluffing and posturing with open wings to allow heat to escape from the entire body. American toads are surprisingly heat tolerant but will head to an underground burrow during periods of extreme heat. Other amphibians, like this green frog, gravitate to moist areas and stay close to the ground, returning to the water to avoid overheating. Yellow-spotted salamanders retreat to the earth below rotting logs, sometimes utilizing burrows made by mice and voles. This young bobcat has ventured out in the heat due to inexperience or hunger. Fortunately, it has a physical adaptation that will help, something that it shares with deer and rabbits. These animals have large upright ears, which are richly supplied with blood. As blood enters the veins in their largely hairless ears, heat is released from the surface of the skin and the cool blood is pumped back into the body. Even with physical and behavioral adaptations like these, however, sometimes the only option is to seek out a quiet spot for a nap and wait out the heat.